MTD CNC, bringing you the latest engineering news, reviews, events, and special offers via video media. MTD CNC have been invited to Heimbuk today in Germany. We're going to take a tour of the company. We're going to have a look at manufacturing. We're going to have a look at the whole facility. So let's start with the shop floor. I'm now on the shop floor, and this really is a bustling manufacturing environment. Behind me here, we've got some of the latest machine tool technology, uh, a turn mill machine. And as we move down the factory, we're going to look at some of the different processes that are happening within the production cells. Firstly, we're going to have a look at the clamping heads. So this is the production cell where the clamping heads are manufactured. We've got milling and turning capability. In fact, we've got, again, uh, machines that are multitasking. Uh, we've got a really interesting uh, work holding solution going on in the Starmer over there where they're actually milling as well as turning uh, on, a, on the same fixturing. Uh, and then if we move further down the plant, again, we're going to see even more technology and even more product being manufactured. So even more machine tool technology behind me, five axis machining, and this is where the actual bigger chucks are actually machined and manufactured. What's really interesting about this production environment is that there are around about 800 customers a year, uh, their solutions are satisfied here. This isn't where the catalog product is manufactured, this is where the more complex and difficult and bespoke work holding solutions are made. And when we talk about bespoke work holding solutions, you'd probably, in fact, I've been told that over 60% of product that's manufactured here are just one-offs. So once the work holding solutions have been milled, they've been turned, all the machining's been finished, they'll go off for heat treatment. And once that process is complete, the final operation is either to come here for hard turning or for grinding. So although the production that we've looked at here on the shop floor is actually for the more um, bespoke work holding solutions, in here this is the one dispatch area for the whole company. So we've got catalogue solutions for everything from the manok chucks to the, uh, to the clamping, to every type of clamping head, and it's all here in this warehouse. So when you've got a requirement, and let's say for example you need it quickly, all of this product here uh, in dispatch is, is available stock. We've got the manok uh, work holding solution for milling machines. Uh, we've then got span top collet chucks ready to be uh, delivered. And then as we move backwards here, we can look at a range of clamping heads. I'll pick this one as an example. But this is a, uh, a machinable clamping head which uh, is for a 125 mil collet chuck. All of this equipment and thousands of products that you can see here for work holding, both milling, turning, and grinding, are available from stock. So for pre-sales or post-sales, you may come here to what they call their production coaching facility. And this is where either before you've bought a Heimbuch work holding solution or after you've bought it, you may come here to learn about it and to train and to get the best out of it. To the right of me here, we have a facility where we've got some multi-axis machine tools where they, they use and put product on. But most importantly, to conclude this, uh, this video and our visit to Heimbuch today, I'm going to have a very quick look at the products. Heimbuch categorise their products as either rotating or stationary. And to start with, we'll look at the stationary product. This is a, uh, a Manok clamp, which we've spoken about already in this video. But this is a stationary work holding product that goes on a milling machine. You can put uh, what we've got clamping heads here, uh, and you can change these for different bar diameters, uh, different bar shapes. We've also then got the jaw module. This jaw module goes onto the Manok chuck. And that enables you to hold diameters, as you can see, and change the diameters. So if you're looking at larger billets, you can use this jaw module. We can also use the mandrills here. These can be attached to the Manok station. But when we move to the left here, this is where we move on to the rotating side. So these are chucking solutions for turning centers. But I think this actual product here is a carbon fiber one, and it's one of the latest uh, innovations here from Heimbuch. But what is interesting is when we talk about rot uh, rotating and stationary, the flexibility of the Heimbuch product means that a lot of, well in fact all of these, the mandrels, the jaw modules, the clamping heads, can all be used in conjunction with either turning centres or machining centres and milling machines. It's been a really productive visit here. Hope you've enjoyed the video. You can see more from Heimbuch on mtdcnc.com or you can visit Heimbuch direct. For more videos, products and news, go to mtdcnc.com or follow MTD Online on Twitter.